Welcome to the Monitoring a Manufacturing Plant presentation. Whether you are a plant manager, shop floor supervisor, or machine operator, you need to know how processes are behaving. This interactive presentation focuses on a WinSPC tool that meets this need. One that presents the real-time status of plant-wide processes on a single screen, provides access to real-time data and charts, and facilitates the management of assignable causes and corrective actions. The name of this tool is the Plant Monitor. To illustrate how the Plant Monitor might be used, let's say you're a manager at our example plastic bottle plant and you want to rapidly catch up on your shop floor processes after a morning of meetings. Double-click the WinSPC desktop icon. This is the plant monitor. Managers commonly set up WinSPC so that when they launch it, the plant monitor automatically opens to the process data they are interested in. Other users can access the plant monitor by clicking this toolbar button wherever it appears. Process data, meaning variables and attributes from both processes and products, is represented by cells. Examples of process data are net weight, thread check, flow rate, and visual checks such as label placement. A flashing cell indicates data has violated a rule WinSPC has been configured to test for. Whether such a cell is red, yellow, or some other color depends on the color assigned to the rule. A green cell indicates the most recent data captured for a process did not violate a rule. The rules WinSPC tests data against can be standard SPC rules or user-defined rules. Already, within seconds of arriving at your desk and with no more than a glance at the plant monitor, you have the current picture of shop floor conditions and a clear indication of where to focus your attention. A number in a cell such as this one indicates the number of violations that are yet to be reviewed by a supervisor or manager. Mouse over that cell. This quickly brings to view some basic information. In this case, the information is for wall thickness, the key measurement for your blow molding process. Click that same cell. This is the violation browser the window used to review and manage rule violations. You first see the earlier of the two violations, one point beyond control limits. You also see that an operator has entered an assignable cause of low temperature reading and a corrective action of monitor for continued variation. Click the Next Violation button. This violation concerns the four or five points in Zone B rule, one of the rules for detecting non-optimum trends. Notice that the same low temperature reading assignable cause has been entered for this violation, but a different corrective action has been supplied, replace heating element. You recognize this action as a costly one due to the downtime incurred, so you expand your investigation. Click the Chart tab. This tab gives you access to more in-depth information. Here are the four or five points that triggered the second violation. And here is the first violation. To see how the process is distributed, right-click the chart, and select Histogram. Seeing the process is normally distributed, you decide to move on and find out what the common corrective actions for the process are. Right-click the chart again, mouse over Pareto, and select Corrective Actions. According to this Pareto chart, the most common corrective action is Replace Heating Element. 
From experience, you know that replacing a blow molding machine's heating element should be an infrequent action. So, you make some calls and discover that for cost reasons, a different supplier for the heating elements is now being used. Since the downtime costs associated with this corrective action outweigh the savings from the new supplier, you arrange for the previous supplier to be reinstated. To make a note of this arrangement, right-click the chart, select X bar and R, and click the most recent violation. This is the data point viewer. This window contains comprehensive details about a data point. At notes, you enter the following. Too many failures with heating elements currently being used, reverting to previous supplier. Now, click OK. Communicate further details about this decision to your WinSPC users. You compose a message using WinSPC's built-in mail feature. This is an internal messaging tool and does not require an internet connection or an email program such as Outlook in order for WinSPC stations to communicate with each other. Satisfied that both violations have now been properly addressed, your final step is to sign off on them. Still in the Violation Browser, click the Acknowledge All button. Acknowledge, in this context, means sign off. Click Close. Notice the cell is no longer flashing and that the 2 has been removed. The cell is now reset and, provided the next subgroup of wall thickness measurements doesn't violate a test, the cell will change to solid green. There are a variety of setup options available to you in the plant monitor. You can click the blank cell at the end of a row to add process data. You can create a new layout from scratch, or you can use the automatic layout, which gives you a view of all your process data for the time period you specify. You can set up the plant monitor so that managers, supervisors, and operators see the process data relevant to them. The dashboard nature of the plant monitor makes it an easy-to-use tool for managers, supervisors, and operators, a tool which quickly eliminates the risk of not being informed and simplifies the management of violations and access of plant-wide performance data. Thanks for watching.